My name is Abdullah. I'm one of the doctors here. Can I please confirm your name and date of birth? Uh, yes, it's Saad. I was born in 9th of October 1992. Okay. I understand that you came with some concerns. Um, uh, how can we help? Uh, actually, I have a... I have a bit of a problem getting an election during sexual intercourse and it's really been affecting my sex life so i wanted to talk about that yeah i i appreciate you sharing with me um as always this this consultation will be very confidential um so um uh, i just reassure you to feel free to share everything about this so the, how the consultation is going to work today i'm going to ask you further questions about this some of them might be might seem very personal uh, but they'll be very important for establishing differential diagnosis of what you could have so um you said you have problem with um uh, maintaining an erection so can you tell me how did this start and when did it start mm, uh, i think it started around uh, two months back uh, initially it was uh, just uh, now and then but for around, I think, around uh, two weeks or three weeks, it is almost continuous and I am completely unable to get a, get an okay. erection. Yeah, fine. And, um, okay, that's fine. And has it been getting worse? Do you notice? Yes, it has been getting worse. So. It's been getting worse, okay. Did you think anything in particular that making it worse? Uh, I think mm -hmm. uh, the days when I'm tired, mm. uh, it's worse. Uh, uh, it's slightly better during the weekends. Okay. And I mean, have you noticed maybe something like, it, are you going through any kind of stress at all, maybe from work or from your personal life that can make it worse? Oh, yes, there is some stress at my job. I was recently denied a promotion. Yeah. So I think that may be playing on my mind. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. I'm really sorry about, about the, the stress that you're going through. I will try to do our best to reach to the bottom of that. Okay, but you, have you had any recent injury, maybe in your private areas or your back or your tummy, anything like that? Uh, no, nothing of that sort. Have you ever complained of maybe leg pain or uh, tiredness during walking? No, I think I'm fine. I jog quite often and that's been mm -hmm. fine. And how is your sleep like? Are you sleeping well at night? Uh, off late, I have been having trouble falling asleep uh, mm. i think it's due to my job situation okay fine and have you tried anything to help you sleep uh, i contacted my gp for uh, this and he advised me some medication i'm not sure dizepam or something but uh, it mm. isn't really helping me okay so you're taking a medication now to help you sleep yes okay fine and um, and also, just to routine questions as well, have you had any high temperature or night sweats? Uh, no. Okay. Any weight loss recently? Uh, no weight loss. Any abdominal pain or pain in the chest? No, nothing of that sort. Any shortness of breath or any maybe attacks of, um, you know, panic attacks or anything like that? And don't won't say panic attacks. I'm just a bit stressed all the time. I keep thinking yeah. about things. Yeah. yeah, but but I'm sorry, but when I say panic attacks, I mean when you get like very high rate of respiration or maybe breath, high rate of breath and really worried and maybe having tightness in the chest. You have never had the, one of those before, have no. you? No, no. Okay, that's, that. that's very reassuring. Okay. And uh, also, I'd like to ask you a few more questions, very personal question about your sexual uh, uh, life. So, do you have a partner at all? Uh, yes, I have a girlfriend. Is, is it a partner or a wife or a girlfriend? It's a girl. Okay, and how is everything going between you guys? Uh, it was fine, but uh, I think the recent troubles uh, with my erectile dysfunction, I think it's affecting her too now. Okay. Fine. All right. And um, have you have uh, have you been trying? Um, to get pregnant or something or, or not? Uh, no, we haven't. Been okay, fine. Are you, are you using any kind of contraception, whether you or oh, your girlfriend? Uh, yes, we use a condom. Okay, fine. And in the previous three months, when was the last time that you had uh, an adequate or satisfactory sexual intercourse? I think around, uh, around two and a half months back, it was her birthday. 
and mm. i think that was the last time i felt okay. everything was okay fine all right and also i would I'd like to ask you a few questions about your mental health as well how is your mood like uh i feel a little bit down nowadays mm. And apart from the stress at work that you have, and of course this kind of stress, is there anything else that you worried about? Uh, no. Okay. Fine. Um, about your your past medical issues, have you had any prep any medical problem before? Oh uh, yes, I am hypertensive. I take uh, amlodipine, ten milligram yeah. per day. Okay. Fine. Um, also, have you had any heart any heart problem or high blood uh, or sorry high blood glucose level or anything like that? No. Okay. Any problem with your glands, like the thyroid gland? Uh, no, I haven't had anything like that. Okay. Apart from the blood pressure tablet and also the tablet that you take for your sleep, do you take any other medication? Uh, no, I don't okay. take any medication. A few more important questions. Do you smoke at all? Uh, yes, I do smoke. And how often do you smoke? How many per day? I think around 10 cigarettes per day. Okay. And do you drink at all? No, I don't. Okay. That's very reassuring. All right. And I know you're concerned that you're concerned about this issue that you've been suffering recently. Um, but what do you think it might be? What's your ideas about it? I think um, the situation of my job, I think it's playing on my mind and I'm worried all the time. And I think that may be a factor in these problems, although I'm not quite sure. Okay. Well, and to, to be honest, I can correlate it to that, but I would like to do some further tests for you before we're able to see that's only the stress. We just want to make sure that everything has worked fine for you apart from uh, the stress that you have. Okay. So we're going to do further okay. tests for you and we'll take it from there. Okay. 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 Thanks for sharing with me. Okay. Thank you. All right. So. Um, Presentation to my examiner. So I've um, spoken today with a 30 year old male patient coming with um, erectile dysfunction. Um, the condition has started around um, two months ago and has been getting worse with time. He has a girlfriend and he suffering sort of stress at work and um, he has lack of sleep. He seeks medical advice and is currently on medication to put him to sleep. I would like to find what was this medication despite the patient said it's diazepam. Um, I would also um, that's the, the main history from the patient. I didn't think of any uh, um, um, sort of um, vascular problem or any recent trauma that the patient had. I think it's a stress related erectile dysfunction. Uh, however, I would like to do further examination and examine the patient first and then do further uh, uh, bloods and imaging as well. OK, so what can you offer this patient? So in the in the first instance, uh, I think it, the first one would like to examine the patient. I would like to get some blood done for him. That would be all the routine and basic bloods, including FPC and UNE and CRP and LFT and lipid profile. We can also get um, all the hormonal profile. That would be testosterone, prolactin, FSH and LH as well, and uh, maybe ACTH. We can do urine analysis as well. And then um, imaging wise, we can consider an ultrasound on um, basically the uh, the testis if there was any mass or maybe on the um, the um, duplex ultrasonography for uh, the vessels in the lower limb and the vessels in the penis as well to see if there is any problem with the veins or the arteries. Um, of course, I'd like to rule out varicose veins as well um, or varicose heels. Um, we can consider angiography on the last instance if needed. Uh, that would be in terms of the investigation. After doing all of this, we'll consider the treatment. The treatment would be offering a psychological support for the patient, refer to the psychiatric team or the therapy team might be very helpful, um, trying to help with the work stress that the patient is currently going through might be helpful. Of course, um, if this hasn't worked, we can consider um, a, a more invasive treatment with medication. That would be uh, giving sildenafil, which is a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor, or um, intracavernous injection of uh, alprostadil, um, or maybe a placement of a penile prosthesis if, if possible. 